you saw that went well out there today? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you can't complain, you know, sitting here with, with, the, uh, with the win like that. I thought there were some moments today that maybe we weren't at, at the top of our game. Um, I thought even to start the game, I just didn't feel like we were moving the basketball as well. Um, you know, that second group came in, I thought really gave us a spark during that stretch. Um, not that anybody was bad, I just didn't feel like we were kind of moving the same way that we had been here for a while. And, you know, I think that kind of got corrected and, you know, I kind of... Didn't think we shot lights out by any stretch. Maybe in the second half, obviously, it was a, a little bit sharper. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, th I thought our defense for another, you know, wait, three, probably four games in a row now that our defense has been very, very solid. And I thought that kind of carried us through not making some shots, not getting the ball moving like we normally had been. Just to highlight a few players, and then I'll give it over to Rel, but uh, Peyton Richard had 10 points off the bench. Jada Green had a bucket, which was great to see. Allie Sweeney, had, we just talked to Allie, she had about a perfect stat yeah. line just as a great floor game. Maybe some individual performances there that, that we don't always see in terms of star power. There's a lot more star power on the bench. Right, you know, and I think everybody you know, has a different different change or a different day to, to kind of do all of that. Um, you know, I think yeah, obviously you get Jada working her tail off for two years and to come in here and be rewarded with, with getting some points and some good minutes today. You know, obviously Courtney uh, making some shots. Peyton, you know, we had two kids score their first two uh, their first college points today between Peyton and, and Jada. Um, I know when I got the stat sheet at the immediate timeout in the second quarter, uh, 12 minutes into the game, we had 10 people that already scored. You know, and have all 12 people score today. I thought it was a really, really cool thing. Says a lot about us. And, you know, you, you, you look at some of the stat sheets here, and I, I feel like I've done this before, but, like, Addie Budnick was 0 for 2 from, from 3. She played really well, man. Like, it's one of those things where I want her to be rewarded because she is playing so well, so unselfishly. Uh, we'd be lost without her. And she just doesn't care. You know, I know she doesn't care out there. I feel like the, the, the staff is over here. Like, we got to get Addie this. I'm like, I'd like to get Addie some things. I, I know she doesn't necessarily care at all. Um, but I think she's she really is a key cog to what we're doing. And none of this works without her. And, um, you know, obviously, it's, we're very grateful, grateful that she came back here. Well, it, Coach, you, you know, you talk about that unselfishness. When you watch this team, you know, pass the ball the way they pass the ball. And it, it just seems so smooth. Even though there was a possession yeah. right towards the fourth where they didn't score on it, but they moved the ball yeah. so well. Uh, what do you attribute that to? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you teach that, but what is that message when you're telling your team, hey, pass this ball, man? How do you, how do you get that going? How do you keep that rolling? Just really preaching, you know, unselfishness w with our team. You know, I think it's a group that, We've talked a lot about, you know, this this group, the sky's the limit if we don't care who gets the credit. And I think they've really, really bought into that. Again, I go back to it with Addy uh, leading, you know, being the leader of our program, leader of our team. Like, she's just so unselfish that, you know, you start to stray the other way. Not that it's happened. You start to stray the other way. And, uh, you know, I, I, you, all of a sudden you look at your leader and she's nothing like that. And so I think it starts there. I think there's there's been buy-in everywhere. Um, you know, up and down the stat sheet, you know, and it's just been, it's been a cool vibe for us. Obviously getting a couple big wins on the road early uh, helped with the confidence level and the swagger a little bit, but um, it, it's been really, really fun to watch. You mentioned the offensive end, but I think as a coach, really that defensive end has been really cool too. Yeah, the defense has been all over the place. What I love is how they're able to move from side to side, uh, you know, and they just, in the passing lane, I mean, what that mentality of just being in the passing lanes at pretty much at all time how did you kind of implement that and keep you know keep them on their toes on the defensive side of the ball uh, you know i think the the last two games maybe we've done some things differently defensively and, and maybe has forced some turnovers you know i just think the length that we play with you know and i think some of this is the the depth that we're realizing that we have you know that you start to see some tired legs out there and it's it i don't feel bad about you know making a quick sub you know i think we've seen that a couple games in a row that it's not so much our group isn't playing well. It's almost the opposite. Our group's playing really well. You see the other almost defeat on, on the other, uh, on the five that are on the, uh, the floor for the other team. And then, oh, by the way, you got 10 fresh legs coming in. So I think that's been a big part of the turnovers that we've forced, uh, just the length and just the depth that we've had. Well, congratulations on the win. Uh, you've got to William & Mary uh, coming up next. Any kind of last thought on We've talked about a lot of things that you've done well. Is there anything that you feel like, okay, we need to focus on one or two more things well, and get ready for the rest of the season? Again, you look at our shooting percentage, obviously things are going well offensively, but I, I still thought there were some spurts today that we just didn't get the movement, didn't get the cutting that, that we normally are really good at. So as a staff, we'll take a look at that here. Um, I'll be honest with you, haven't really gotten any eyes on, uh, on William & Mary just for the week that we've had. Um, 
so it, it'll be great. Give our staff the, the the weekend off. Give our players the weekend off. That doesn't happen a lot in college basketball. You know, when, when you have a Friday game and you don't play it now until Thursday. Uh, once a couple things happened with our schedule, it was just an, a great way. Our kids have had a summer. They, you know, had, had a trip abroad. So those things are great, but it can wear on you. And we want to make sure that our kids are fresh and um, I know you said last question, but uh, obviously, and maybe you guys did, but just a shout out to Sam. Obviously, we missed yeah, her today, yeah, and yeah. Um, you know, with with her family, uh, as she should be, uh, with her grandfather's funeral. So, yeah. thinking of her and, and everybody else, and then we're going to give Keelan a shout out too. I mean, this is National Communications Director Week here, so we're going to give Keelan a shout uh, to you guys. Everything that y'all are doing, <laughs> appreciate you guys. Um, you know, as a journalism major myself, always a soft spot for what you guys are doing, uh, but uh, none of this works without you guys. Well. We sound a lot better when you play that well. I, I mean, it usually goes that way. It's you coaching know, we too. We have a good broadcast, uh, hey, so you're doing it for us. It's just like when your players make shots, all of a sudden we look pretty smart, you know, and that's, <laughs> that's right. not we'll always the case. We'll appreciate yeah, thank you. you. Um, we appreciate but, yeah, absolutely, that. whatever we can do here for you guys. Uh, thanks, Aaron. Hey, all congratulations right. on the win. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Have a great weekend. Uh, it's great. You have a good weekend, too.